These kids are very, very artistic. Excuse me, some of them even want to be artists. Their name of their school is Otis Elementary. And they're really a cool bunch of kids. Oh boy, is that an ugly fish or what? <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's my fish. Anyway, I understand these kids uh, are making zentangles and they're hooked on them like I am and right now I think what I understand is they're working on hand hand uh, you know drawing their hand and then drawing around it and then doing zentangles but does that sound fun or what yes I know my fish has lips but I do love fish with lips I don't know I gotta think about it excuse me Okay, this is just one silly, silly, silly uh, shape that you can zentangle. I'm using a pretty big marker for this so it shows up better. Now see, I'm just following that shape of that line. No biggie, no, no you know, it's not hard to do. It's just fun. You can take the shape of anything. Oh, uh, have you seen those? They call them Mandela's or something, but they do them all round. One woman, I saw her work, it's in different colors. It's really cool. See now how that changes that? If I go back and do that in there? Now I could skip a row like this. I could add a, a, a shape here. You see what I'm saying? You can change you can change it, change it, change it, and get a whole different look. Look. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> Although I swear I can sing in my head, it just doesn't come out of my mouth right. Now see how that that pattern just changes? Well, I know those smart kids in Otis, Colorado have already thought about this because they're artistic. They're just zentangling up a storm. You know, when I was a kid, I called it doodling. And uh, we used to have to, uh, I don't know if y'all still do or not, uh, wrap our books in paper so it, they didn't get marked on, our school books, and uh, with paper. And I used to doodle all over them. It was cool. Not on the school book, excuse me, on the paper cover. Don't be doing stuff that they're going to blame PJ for it. <laughs> ah! And, I, you know, I said something about don't be uh, listed some old fussy uh, art teacher. That's all of them except Miss B. <laughs> Doesn't it sound good? All of them except her. She's the cool one. She knows what she's talking about. It's those other old fuddy duddies that don't. Really, art comes from inside you. It comes from your heart. It comes from your design. You don't want to be copying somebody else unless you're just practicing. Otherwise, you want to do your thing. Okay, see there? Isn't that funny? Now, look, I could do a big circle right here. And I could do deals like this. And build that circle like that, like this. You know, my Herbert. Oh, shoot. Did you see that? Well, guess what? There are no mistakes in Zentangles. <laughs> okay, perfect example. I, I was talking about Herbert. You know, Herbert thinks I'm crazy when I'm making these videos. He walks around trying to see who I'm talking to. It just makes him crazy. He'll wag his tail and walk around like, okay, there's somebody here. I just don't know where they're at. He's a hoot. Wish I had time to tell you about how he saved the house from burning down. He's super dog. I love that dog. He's just a chihuahua, a little bitty five pound one, but he's smart. Okay. Y'all see what I'm doing? Something silly. Same thing. You could put little skinny lines. You could connect this to something else. Oh, that's something else I wanted to show you. Okay. Now, you might want to do this. You might want to do this, then make different things. You know, I love little triangles. Is my hand in the way? Probably so. 
triangles. Just fill it up. You can put a dot on the end of them. It just goes on and on. There's no rules. Remember that. If it's yours, you can do this. You can color inside of those. You could put dots around them. Like that. You know, some people, like me, love uh, Zentangles all the way to the edges everywhere. Other people just do the fish. Just the fish. They leave all the outside white. Look at that. A little sloppy, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, this is another way to start one. Do a circle. No, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. If that bothers you, use a lid off of a jar. But that's real boring. Do your own circle. Okay. Ooh, love that squeaky noise. Okay. Do this one. Then finish a design in that, however you want to do it. Oh, see, this could be just this. Let's see, one more. And it could go out like this. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Then you can do this. Boy, that's squeaky. It's making me crazy. <laughs> see? You can make a rainbow. You can make triangles again. I love triangles. Makes it look like a little Indian design, does it? A little bit, anyway. One of my favorites I did. An eyeball in the middle. Like that. But you can make an eyeball however you want to. And then I started doing, you know, things like this. I'm being a little bit sloppy, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's mine. I get to be sloppy. Maybe I like it that way. <laughs> okay. Now you can do some little stars around that eye. What you think? Now, this, those kids in Otis, Colorado, Otis Elementary, Colorado, in Miss B's art class. Now, they're good at this stuff. If they would send me some pictures, I could do a video of their stuff. Wouldn't that be fun? The Artist of Tomorrow. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Okay, now you see what I mean? That you don't have to start with lines and stuff. You can start with shapes. Hearts, hearts, I can fill up this whole place with hearts or dots or circles. I don't even have to have lines. I can just change the thing that I'm doing and that forms a new area. Hope I'm putting that right. Sounds good anyway. Now, and these are dots. And these are going to be squares. Kind of sloppy, sloppy squares. <laughs> but who cares? You can see what I'm talking about, can't you? I'd put them a little bit closer together or put a design between them, kind of make it fill up, you know. doesn't have to be solid, but you just, where it looks pleasant to the eye, you'll know when you got it right. Ta-da!